beans, rice, and a book. Welcome to our channel. It's Gma and Papa. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. We had some ham the other night, and I had some leftovers, so I thought I'd make some beans with ham. And I figured while I got my beans out, I'd get my rice out and kind of show you what all I have. I've got a lot of these little Mahatma yellow rices. I use these in a casserole. They're, they're really good. They've got saffron seasoning in them. And I've got my plain, regular, long grain white rices. What I do is I keep my rice in my working pantry in this jar. And it's getting low, so what I'll do is I'll empty this rice here into a bowl. And I'll come in here and I'll get my oldest uh, Best Buy date rice. And I'll pour it in the jar and then I'll pour this stuff in the bowl back on top. So that way the oldest stuff is getting used first. So I've got some 1121 here. That's August of 21, so this one will come out. And it'll go in the jar. It won't all fit, but what doesn't fit, I'll just close up and keep in the working pantry. And I'll keep filling this jar until all that bag is gone. And I was really surprised when I pulled out my beans, my bean container. I am almost out of beans, you guys. I've been using these, and I haven't been replenishing them. So I was really surprised at how low my bean stock was. But um, I'm going to use, these expire, or the best by date was August of 21. But I want to do the red beans, so I'm going to use this with my ham. And I will make sure that I keep the oldest stuff on top. Looks like the majority of it is August of 21. But yeah, I've been lacking on my preps because of my surgery. Uh, the insurance isn't going to pay for it all, so I've kind of been using that money, saving that money to help pay for my surgery, my eye surgery. And also, I wanted to show you guys this book that my daughter gave me for Christmas, 57 Scientifically Proven Survival Foods to Stockpile. And I marked a few pages here I just wanted to show you. Okay, this one here shows, like, if you're looking for your vitamins... It tells what foods are good to have for that specific vitamin. Vitamin C, you want your red and green peppers, kiwis, oranges, and other citrus fruits, strawberry, broccoli, tomatoes. I thought that was pretty interesting. Another page I wanted to show you was this one here. As money and time permit, I would also include the following. It's just giving you ideas of things that you should add to your stockpile that are easy to stock and will store for quite a while. And the last one I had marked, it's full, the book is actually full of really good information, but I didn't want to go through the whole book. That would take me quite a while. Appendix, appendix, appendix A. 27 grocery store foods to stockpile. This would be really good for anyone that's just starting out with their prepper pantry, needs help, needs ideas on what to stockpile. I'm going to put a link below to this book. But yeah, it's got a lot of really good um, information right there. Bulk foods to stockpile, stockpile beans. Drink mixes, cocoa powder, pancake mix, rice, superfoods to stockpile, cacao powder, chia seeds, eggs, flax seeds. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But yeah, it's a really good book to have. So you guys, I guess with that, I will end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Pup and I really do appreciate all of you guys. Um, we appreciate you helping us grow our channel. We appreciate your support and the love you've all shown us. And God bless you all. Thank you for watching. 
Take care. Have a great weekend. And Pop and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.